Hello everyone, welcome and thank you so much for joining this uh, webinar. It's a very special event. I'm here with Rosario. Hello everyone, very uh, nice to see you all here. We are getting started oh, right great. now. Great, great, great. So it's a pleasure again. And uh, today there's a lot of valuable content here. So it's going to be really interesting. So what is this webinar about, right? This is about how to start and scale your eBay dropshipping business with data insights. With Nahar himself, the master, my mentor. And so let's move on. And the first question is uh, actually that I get a lot and Nahar probably as well, is who can benefit from today's webinar? Beginners and advanced sellers can benefit for sure. And Nahar is going to show you how you can start drop shipping business with fairly low investment and why is Q4 the best time to start and how to scale a drop shipping business and maintain high sales on January, February, and March, which is really important, all right? So, Nahar, why should them start a drop shipping business? Is it right for them? Okay, so it's a great question. Why should people start a dropshipping business and, and how people also know if it's right for them? So we prepared here four points. This is for the beginners. We're going to go through a lot of content today. The first half of the webinar are going to be more focused on beginners. The second half of the webinar is going to be more focused on advanced sellers. So stay tuned. And, and let's answer this question. So first of all, if you're just starting uh, or you just started selling online, dropshipping is the easiest business model, okay? There is no other business model online or other e-commerce model that is easier than dropshipping. Second of all, if you don't want to invest a lot of money, when you drop shipping on eBay, you start with fairly low investment. You don't need to pay for inventory. You don't need to pay for ads. You don't need to pay for anything like that. You get the traffic from eBay. You only create an eBay account and that's it. The only cost you have is for the software services that you're going to use, product research tool and uh, lister. And you will need some of cash flow in order to process your first orders. Um, third thing, if you want to generate or start start a side hustle or generate extra income. As I mentioned, dropshipping is the easiest business model online to start a side hustle. And within three to four months, you can already achieve at least $1,000 in profit, if not more. Depends on your dedication and the hard work you put in. And the last one, with dropshipping, you can walk from anywhere around the world. You can be in Asia or Europe and sell in the United States. You can be in the Middle East or selling to, and sell to the UK. All your possibilities are open. And if you're going to turn dropshipping into financial freedom, you will become your own boss and you will be able to decide and build your own schedule. Now, I'm not here to sell you dreams. You know, as entrepreneur, it's not always easy. And because we have the, the motivation to grow and earn more, you most likely going to put more effort that you would put in normal work. However, you're still going to be your own boss. All right, but let me ask you something. Um, it's not even on the slide, but for example, let's say someone here wants to start a side hustle with eBay dropshipping. How much effort, how much uh, time per day, how many hours per day should they invest in this beginning here? Yeah, Realistically. It's, yeah, it's absolutely great question. Let, let me just say something because, you know, we see all over YouTube, a lot of people saying so many different things. Yeah. And I think this is an opportunity that you can tell them, you know. Yes, yes, the, absolutely. The truth, be realistic. Yes, absolutely. So um, again, it depends on your, your goals. You know, you want to build a, a multi-million business. You want to scale it to be something big. You just want to have this side hustle, you know, this extra income. So it really depends on you. I would say less than two hours per day, make it challenging. So at least two hours per day. And it also depends with which tools you're going to work. I'm going to show you today, uh, by the second half of this webinar, automation tools that help you find hundreds of products with just a few clicks. So if you would be using these tools from, from day one, you may need to spend less time, okay? However, my recommendation is always put more effort into research and, you know, do the hard work yourself in the beginning to learn how things actually work before you move to full automation. But uh, let's make this answer, you know, like let's cut to the chase at least two hours per day, if not more, the more time you can invest, the better result you can achieve. And of course, in the end, it's individual. 
All right. And why is Q4 the best time to start dropshipping? It's a great question. I wanted to add it to the slide, to this webinar, mm -hmm. because uh, first of all, from personal experience, it's not just because I think this is the best time to start. I started by the end of 2015. It was uh, December 2015. I actually started a week or, or three weeks before Christmas. Oh, before okay. Christmas. Nice. And it helps me generate quick sales. I wasn't successful in my first three months dropshipping. It took me three months to really understand what's going on. But I got these few sales that made me understand, wow, this is actually can work. And it gives me to the motivation to push forward. And I'll try to be more logical about it. So there are two reasons why Q4 is the best time to start. First of all, people have more money to spend. They're getting their 13 salaries on December uh, and this money flow to e-commerce. Second thing, it's holiday and Christmas. The holiday and Christmas times increase demand. People need to buy gifts, decoration, and many more things, right? And you as a dropshipper riding on this trend. And in result, you will get fast sales, which is crucial to motivate you in the beginning of your journey. And this is uh, why I wanted to bring this as, as in the opening of this webinar, uh, to all the people who just getting started, there is no better time than getting started um, in Q4. Q4. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So let's break down here. Let's see uh, what you will teach them today uh, and what they will learn. Yes. So uh, what you're going to learn, um, very important. Uh, we're going to start with how to find winning products. Okay, I break it down to four steps. I'm going to show you the, the basic, but I'm also going to show you how to find winning products for the coming holiday. So it's going to be the complete method plus a bonus uh, holiday research. We're going to move to how to create an eBay store for drop shipping. Very important to know how you do it because, you know, people getting suspended, people doing the wrong things. So I'm going to cover this very important for beginners. And then we're going to move uh, to the second part of this uh, webinar, which is how to scale from zero to hero. I'm going to show you how you can find hundreds of products every day with just a few clicks. So it's good for the people who want to scale their business or the people that don't have enough time. And we're going to finish with, I would say this is the, the most valuable part for advanced sellers is that how to boost your sales after Christmas. Everyone, and you probably realize everyone from all the gurus online focusing Q4 and how to find products for Christmas and best item to sell on Halloween. No one talking about what's happening on the quarter one of 2023. What's going to happen next year on January, February, and March. These are the hardest time, one of the hardest times of the year. Okay. So I'm going to cover and show you what you can do and how you can prepare in advance to maximize sales throughout January, February, and March and, and enjoy and, you know, and be with smile on your face while everyone else is crying. So we're going to move on, jump directly to the first part, how to find winning products. Thank you so much, Rosario, for being here with me. Thank you. My pleasure. And um, yeah, this is going to be now a uh, very practical. We're going to go to uh, how to find winning products. I break it down into four steps. Step number one is choosing your supplier. Step number two is defining winning products. Back to step number one, I'm going to cover the, the five recommended suppliers from my experience. What is better for beginners? What is better for advanced? And then we're going to define winning products because, you know, in order for you to find products, you need to know what you're looking for, right? And step number three, find competitors. And step number four, spy on, on their products. Uh, step three and four are going to be share screen. I'm going to share screen and show you how I use Zeek Analytics to find products. As I mentioned, this is just the first half of the webinar. This product research is, is fit for two kinds of people, beginners or sellers who stick with manual research. So let's jump to step number one, and is choose your supplier. So there are here Walmart, AliExpress, Home Depot, CJ Dropshipping, and Amazon. Let's start with Walmart. Walmart is, I would say, one of the most beginner-friendly. Also, if you're an international seller, easy to work with. Have very good service, high ticket items. In order to dropship from Walmart and get free shipping, you should uh, look for product $35 and above because the free shipping is for $35 and above. Walmart price. Yeah, Walmart price. So this is very recommended. AliExpress, which is also very recommended. Also, what I like about AliExpress is the profit margins. Uh, you're going to have approximately 30% profit margins on AliExpress products. You have 
huge variety of products ship internationally. You can even use US warehouses, but it's a little bit more challenging from AliExpress. We're going to cover in this webinar, in this webinar, we're going to have example on Walmart, AliExpress, and Amazon, okay? Then Home Depot is a little bit more advanced, but also very good for home and kitchen and high ticket items, great service as well, US supplier. And then CJ Dropshipping, which is a wholesale supplier. And you all know that, at least the advanced sellers know that if they want to comply with eBay policies, they need to work with wholesale suppliers. However, uh, from the experience we have and from what we see that happening in the market, there is plenty of sellers working with all those suppliers very successfully. CJ Dropshipping also good, also have uh, warehouses in the US and in the UK and, and uh, other countries, uh, but it's working in a different way. It's less use beginners friendly because it's required to put more effort. And of course, Amazon, you all know Amazon, the biggest uh, e-commerce marketplace. They have amazing service, fast shipping, huge variety of products. However, uh, it's been challenging lately. Sometimes there are issues with eBay account, Amazon accounts. Sometimes eBay make issues, but it's still here because it's still um, a reliable source. A lot of dropshippers use Amazon. They use it successfully. They scale with big amount of listings and it's been proven to work. So we will give the respect Amazon deserve and we will move uh, forward with this demonstration. As I say, Walmart, AliExpress and Amazon are going to be covered on my share screen, but I'm going to show you how I find products from these three suppliers. Step number two, defined winning product criteria. We're gonna start with demand. We want to find product with two sales in seven days or with four sales in 14 days. This is the barrier for me at least. This is what I share with you from my experience. If you want to set higher criteria, you welcome, you know, the higher your standard will be, the better result you will get. However, it may be harder to find, you know, a lot of products in higher criteria. From personal experience, good criteria to follow. Yes, yeah, you were doing a <laughs> yes. lot of research every day. The second one is at least 30% profit uh, if you work with the Chinese suppliers, so with AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping. Try to have at least 30% profit. It's different type of demand because it's international selling. So you compensate on top of it with high profit margins. And then if you work with Walmart, Amazon, uh, Home Depot, and local suppliers, at least 10% profit margins. And it's very important you maintain the profit margins because I find a lot of sellers who, you know, just say, I'm just going to list. I'm just going to keep small profits so I generate a lot of sales. Mm -hmm. And they're listing a lot of products. And what happens in the end? They're not making, they're, they're having big revenues, but no profit. And we're here to make profit, right? This is why we came here today. I see some participants raise hands here. Let me see if there is some messages in the chat. Okay, perfect. So guys, I see you have a lot of questions. I will address these questions in between the slides um, when we're gonna get uh, into the live demonstration, okay? So uh, stay tuned and I'm, I'm gonna answer all the questions. Yeah, but please feel free to ask yeah, the questions. Drop your questions yeah. and just know that I will answer them later. And the last one is no more than 15 competitors. Um, at least in the beginning, why? You just want to have higher chances to get traffic from eBay. It's very simple, mm -hmm. okay? You can go and list 100 competitors' items, and, and sometimes in a very strong niches, like string lights for Christmas, or even if you have a lot of competitors, it's not a problem at all. But uh, when you do the usual competitor analysis, mm -hmm. you know, uh, undercutting or spanning your competitors, you should stick to no more than 15 competitors. And you're going to see shortly, but Zeek gives you all this data. When you do research, you can see all this information in Zeek. Okay, let's move here to how to find winning products. So we cover step one and step two. We discuss the supplier. We discuss the winning products criteria. Now, what we are going to do is to jump into the live demonstration. And I'm going to show you how I find competitors and how I spy on their products. Are you ready, guys? Please write in the chat if you're ready. Please write, I am ready, OMG, and let us see that you all ready. And we're gonna move forward. Ready, ready. So we have people are bombing here the chat. I'm ready. OMG, I'm ready. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Everyone is ready. We are on fire, guys. So we are inside Zeek Analytics. So I'm gonna start my first presentation with AliExpress. We're gonna do AliExpress, we're gonna do Walmart, and we're gonna do Amazon. Okay. And then we're gonna move forward with the webinar today. So let's go and start with AliExpress. My first step will be to set up my account. I will go to quick settings and I will make sure my shipping location is on China. 
and I will make sure source website under supplier setting is AliExpress and I will hit the apply settings, okay? Now, what I will do is I will click on product research and I will start my search from the product research tool. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why are you starting for the product research tool? if your next step is finding competitors. So I'm gonna use the product research tool to find competitors. And, and from the product research tools, I find competitors and products. So let's get started and go for the first search. So you can come here and search any keyword you want basically, okay? Um, you can put gaming keyboard, you can try cosmetics, you can try anything you like, you can write Christmas. The idea is to just get the result and see who is dropshipper using the, 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 item, the dropshipper finder of Zip. So what I'm going, I'm going to do here, I'm going to write winter. I'm, I'm searching for winter because I also on the way of demonstrating you and showing you how I find competitors and spy on their products. I want to show you how I use it also to find seasonal products that fits Christmas or winter season, etc. So I put winter in the search and hit the search button. What will happen right now, Zeek will pull the data from the eBay best match result. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna see is the best selling items shipped from China, the revenue, the successful listings, the sales, all the statistics about this search term. But because I'm looking for competitors, I will scroll down to the result. Now, when scrolling down to the result, what I can see here is on the right side, I see the product information, the image, title, sales in the last 30 days, lifetime sales, the price, where the product shipped from. And on the left side, what I can see here is the country of the seller, the seller name, I can see uh, the how many feedbacks he have, how many sales he made. And I will click now on the filter now, and I will click show me dropshippers only. Now, when I have dropshippers only, I can focus on guys who dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. This little sign here shows us this guy is a dropshipper. And because these are shipping their products from China, we know they're probably either AliExpress dropshippers or CJ dropshippers. On the left side, you can see the country, which can also help you recognize dropshippers. Usually Sri Lankian, Israelis, Moroccans, all these international countries are dropshippers. Also a lot of US uh, sellers are dropshippers, but because there are many sellers from the US, it's uh, hard to distinguish just by the country. So I'm gonna just pick one of those sellers. So I will click on this one here. Then we we'll click on this one here, right? Now I analyze those two sellers. So. Let's run search here again. There is just some limit of, of speed here, perfect. So I found this Israeli sellers generating $4,000 in sales and 470 in the last 30 days. As you can see, 30 days sells 4,470. And this Sri Lankan seller is the last 30 days, 4,435. So first of all, and this is great for the beginners who is here for the first time learning about dropshipping, is amazing to see that they are already successful dropshippers. So this is not a business model that someone just invented and tells stories to people. There are actual sellers on eBay right now making profit. Now, based on our analysis, the average profit margins dropshipper from AliExpress using is 30%, okay? So we can see here 4,470. And if you think about it, 30% is around $1,200, $1,300 profit from only one store on eBay and, and before the expenses, of course, like listers, but because you have only 285 active listings, his cost very low. You don't pay much for softwares. And you have only 601 feedbacks, probably exist around six months, six months of activities, maybe even less. So the next step will be to stick to our winning product criteria. What was the winning product criteria? two sales in seven days or, 40, or, or four sales in 14 days. So I will switch here to 14 days and you can set it up automatically in your settings in Zik. So the search will automatically be on 14 days. And now I will look if there are products matching my product criteria. So I'll scroll down here and I, I start to go through the products. We can see the image of the product. We can see the title, when the product was uploaded, the 14 day sales, the lifetime sales, current price and competitors. So we're looking for four sales at least, no more than 15 competitors, you remember? These products here, okay? These products here also have 14 sales and eight competitors. This one here, four sales and one competitors. This one here, four sales and 100 competitors. 
um, which is out of our criteria, right? However, I will discuss about this later. Uh, let's focus on these two products. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the item finder to find these products from AliExpress. I click here on the button. Now the item finder that uses the search by image technology from AliExpress will bring me all the similar products from AliExpress. The prices here are estimated because you have shipping costs and other stuff. So you need to double check the prices on AliExpress. And then I will see this product sell for $9.39 on eBay, have four sales. This is the exact same product. This is the exact same product here. Okay, right? These are the exact same product. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just open this one and open this one on AliExpress. My setting here are on Portugal. You have to put it, of course, on United States. So you see the right prices. And also, you need to put it on USD. Perfect. It will also change the language here. So we can see, take a look, guys, that this product here is selling for $2.69. Okay, $2.69. And here, 82 cents. We can do the calculation together. And we do $2.96, right? Plus $0.82. We're talking about $3.78. Okay, this is just for you to see how how you can be profitable. So cost is $3.78, uh, selling price $9.39. Let's say we sell it for 10 cents less, so $9.29, minus 14% fees. It's even a bit less, but let's give it some extra. It's 7.9 minus $3.78. We're talking about $4.20 profit from product selling for $9.39. $4.20 product from product selling for $9.39, it's almost... 50% profit, guys. So yeah, this is the profit average on AliExpress. And of course, when you pick product from AliExpress, this is an important point to give you here. You want to find products with at least 10 orders. You want to find products with already positive reviews. And you want to make sure the sellers are at least one year on AliExpress. So yeah, this is 2020. It's at one year. His rating is not too bad. Not too bad. 4.6, 4.7, 4.6. And the price. So overall, I would take the risk and drop you from this seller, even if it didn't get review here overall, but you can also try to look for other products with better information. So this is how profitable is working with AliExpress. This is how the method works uh, when you just look for competitors and then find their products. And from here, you can start to navigate and use this scan title button to go and find more competitors who are selling similar items, which probably going to be dropshipper and just move. It's important to keep the movement from one seller to another, for another product to another, and just save product to your list. Now, let me just say something. This product here, after I find the product I want, I can save it to my folders. You can use Zig folders to create lists of products, and later on, you can list them. You find a product, you save it to your folder, you move forward to the next product, okay? Let's move on and demonstrate you now how you find product from Walmart. This was AliExpress. I want to keep it to the point because we have a long webinar today. Let's see how we find products from Walmart. So Walmart is a, bit, a little bit different because the source is a bit different. So what you do, you go to Google, you write Walmart brands, you go to the Wikipedia, and inside of Wikipedia, you will have a list of all the major Walmart brands. Why we search for Walmart brands? Because we know that people who sell Walmart brands are dropshippers, or at least 90% of them dropshippers. Why? These brands are exclusive only for Walmart. If they're on eBay, dropshippers brought them to eBay. So I'll copy it. I'll go back here. I'll change my settings first, okay? I'll put here United States, or I will, yeah, I'll put here United States. I'll change here the supplier settings to Walmart, and I'll hit the apply changes. Now I will put here the keyword Mindstays, which is the Walmart brand, and I'll hit the search bar. Now the product research tool is going to bring up all the products that come to the top of the search result and have Mindstays in their title or description. Okay, This is the eBay best match result for searching Mindstays. As we can see, these keywords already generating $31,000 in sales means dropshippers from Walmart generating pretty nice uh, revenue, right? And when you scroll down, you can see here that on the right side, you have this little sign with a box with Walmart logo and a green check. And there is one without a green check. And here you have the dropshipper sign. And if you want, you can again filter by dropshipping. And then you just go for the ones that are dropshippers. My suggestion to you when you work with it is go here for the uh, sellers that have products with a green check. Green checks mean 
Zeke found the exact same item. So if you will click like this, you will see this is the exact same item with a 71 cent profit, okay? Which is a bit over 10% because it's selling for $5.70. So I will click here the scan seller button and I found another competitor. So I follow, again, I follow the same flow, the same product materials, the same flow. This guy, take a look with 2,820 feedbacks, which is probably sellers who is one year, one and a half years on the on eBay, drop shipping on eBay, generate $36,000 in sales. $36,000 in 10% average profit is $3,600 before cost. This guy have 3,952 uh, uh, active listings. He probably pay around 10%, uh, sorry, around $300 for all the softwares and stuff like this. So he make around $3,300. If you have virtual assistants, let's say $300, $3,000 profit, $2,700 profit for one store, guys, okay? Now I will scroll down and we'll grow with the same criteria. I will switch it here to 14 days. As I mentioned, you can change it also in the settings. Scroll down and then um, uh, look for products with the right product criteria. Now the first product here, amazing product, 126 sales. 100 competitors. Honestly, to tell you, usually I would stick to 15 competitors, but here, because there is so many sales, I may try to sell similar products, okay? This product here, green check, 13 sales, 12 competitors clicking the button, exact same product, $1 profit on product selling for $6. It's almost 20% profit, it's 15% profit. I go here, I create folder, okay? Let's call this folder also webinar. Go to the same process, create the folder, pick the, this, save it to my folder, and later on, I will have it in my folder ready to be listed, okay? And you can just go through it and pick all the relevant product. Now, you see here, there is a lot of relevant product. This one, 11 sales, 13 competitors. I click here, I save the product. Ah, sorry, 11 sales, 13 sales, lifetime, 52 competitors, not good for me. This one, 11 sales last uh, 14 days, two competitors. This one don't have a green check, means we bring similar products, here it is. Very low profit. I would go for product with that with 10% profit. Remember, stick to your product winning product criteria. Don't list products which are not in, within your criteria. Okay. And this is how you do it. You just go through all of them. This is the right product, exactly the same product. This one here seems like it's not for profit at all. Important to say that sellers working with Walmart and Amazon working with the back-end profit, they have either gift card with discount or they have credit card with cashback up to 6% with American Express, okay? So this is how you find product for Walmart. Let's move to the next one and show you how you find product from Amazon. So I will open here amazon.com. Make sure here my um, zip code is United States. Okay, apply. I will go back to the product research. I go through the same process, just the beginning a little bit different. I will go here, I will choose here the baby category. I'll click the search button. In the baby category, I'm going to click on best sellers here. And now I'm gonna go through these products and I'm just gonna copy the first product here, which is this, okay? I'm gonna copy this title like this. You can go for any of them. A lot of sellers, what they do with Amazon, they go for best sellers and they list them to their stores. This way you can find a lot of uh, drop shippers very fast. So I copy the title from Amazon like this. I go back here and I paste it here, but this time I make sure my settings here are on amazon.com, okay? Very important. I put the, the beginning of the title from Amazon and I click the search button. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for dropshippers, the same process, exactly same process. Scroll down, choose dropshippers only, and then look for, pro, for interesting dropshippers. Now, as you can see, this one have these signs and everything. So again, Amazon bo um, box with Amazon logo and green check will usually be better for you to go for the one. It will save you time because it means we found more products from them, okay? So it will save you time if you go through them and it's gonna be very beneficial for you to do it. So let's go here with these two sellers. I will open here a few sellers. So the first one here generated in the last 10 days, $1,600 sales. This guy's 877 sales. So yes, usually uh, you can find sellers that generate big revenues, but this is another tip to give you. Don't give up on seller because he has small revenue. This guy has 48 active listings. He's beginner. 
like most of you probably, right? So it's actually pretty easier to compete with him if you go and try to spy on his, on his product. So even if his revenue is small, it doesn't mean you need to give up on him. So I will scroll down here to his products and then I will see, okay, these are the top selling products, right? So I will switch here to 14 days again, stick to my product, winning product materials. And I see this product here, five sales in the last 14 days, seven competitors, green check means Z can find the exact same item. Click the button. This is the exact same item. I will open it uh, on Amazon. I will open it on eBay. Sometimes when the picture is not the same, I want to double check, okay? To see if this is the exact same item. It's very important for me. As you can see, this guy probably use images which are, oh yeah, here is this, another similar product. So this one here selling for $28.99 and you can buy it for $16. 99 guys you can copy the asin now if you're not sure this is the right product you can just to make just to, to double check you can replace the asin like this and you will load it okay and here is the item seven dollars 64 cents profit guys for product selling for 28 dollars this is 20 percent profit this is more than 20 percent profit dropshipping from amazon to ebay and then again go here choose my folder save to my folder and if i go back to my folders Let's go back here to folders. I got these two products that I just saved before, remember? So I have these two products here, and from here I can go and list them to my store. We're going to discuss later how listing to the store works, okay? But you can build your own list of products and just continue and, and, and research more and more products. You don't need to list in the moment you find, okay? So this is how simple it is with um, drop shipping, uh, with the uh, finding competitors and sniping the winning products. This is the, the most... I would say the most recommended method for beginners who just getting started and need to list products every day, okay? I wanted to start with this in the beginning to show you the, the potential in, pro, in drop shipping, how profitable you can be, how quick you can make great profit, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now before I move to the second part of this webinar, I wanna show you how to, how also how to find products from the holidays, okay? What I suggest you to do when you want to get product ideas, let's say you want to find Christmas products, but you don't know what is selling best, right? So you will go here to the category research. From the category research, you will start with the name of the holiday, the name of the season, something very broad. So I'm gonna write here Christmas. I'm not sure what to sell on Christmas. I wanna see what are the top selling items on Christmas, lifetime, and category research is the tool to check lifetime sales. So I will hit here search button and I will get the top Christmas item from the category research tool. So when I scroll down here, okay, this is the category research, you get your lifetime sales. These are the top Christmas product. This product sold 4,626 times since it was listed to eBay, have 238 watcher. You get the seller who sell the products here and all the information about them. You can analyze the product on the product research by clicking the button here. You can see who is drop shipper. Very useful tool to get product ideas. Now, if this is the top selling product, um, it's, it's, a, it's a, a string fairy lights. If this is the top selling product on the category research, what I would like to do here is I would like to analyze the niche of it with two things. I would like to use the, the product research and Google Trends. Now I'm going to show you how I combine the power of Google Trends and the Zeek product research tool. So I'm going to copy the title like this. I'm going to open the product research tool here. Okay, I'm going to remove everything here and just keep it string lights. I will try to remove any unnecessary thing, even though fairy, it may be awards. I want to keep it as broad as possible. I'm doing a niche research now. I want to make sure if string lights have demand during Christmas, right? So I put it here, string lights. I run a search. And meanwhile, what I do is I go to Google Trends. In Google Trends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the same keyword here. I'm going to run a search. And I'm gonna change here to United States or, or the market you target. If it's United Kingdom, then United Kingdom. I will put United States. And I will change to five years history. Now, take a look, string lights, five years history. Last peak was December, 2021. The peak before, beginning of December, 2022. We have a clear trend that happened in the last five years, which a big, with a big peak in the last two years. So based on Google trend, string light, it's amazing trending product, right? A lot of people search it before 
um, uh, Christmas. They actually start surging it by the end of October, beginning of November. So now it's the best time to list this to your store. Next thing I will do is I will validate on the product research tool. And when I search for string lights on the product research tool, we can see $126,000 sales from product with average selling price of $10, guys. Very diverse niche, take a look. This is the, the, the pie diversity. Means every seller almost sharing here, same market share and 97% success rate. So now when we know that these products are selling so well, we have to go to our supplier, whether it is Amazon or Walmart. Uh, I wouldn't say AliExpress now because AliExpress have long time shipping. If it's not US warehouses, I wouldn't list now Christmas product. If you want to sell, sell Christmas products from China, you need to list much earlier, okay? Three weeks, uh, sorry, two months before and stuff like this. And I will just go here and I will write string lights exactly the same thing, and here string lights on Walmart and Amazon. And then I will filter here by lowest prices. I will filter here by lowest prices. And I will start and bring similar products. I will, I will make here eligible to the free shipping, of course. And I will go here and bring the similar, pro the, the right products. I will list this product and I will list these products and that product. But before you bring products, I would highly high suggest you to use the product research tool and to see what are the top selling models the styles, the size of them. So when you bring product, you also put some thoughts into it. You bring product which the price match the value, okay? So you go through it, you analyze, you see what are the selling prices, you see what are the models, then you go to your suppliers and you start bring similar products from here and list bunch of similar products from this niche to your store. And all what you need to do is just find multiple niches like the string lights that fits for Christmas, with the same process, go to the category research tool, see what are the top Christmas products in the category research tool. We can see ornaments are very well uh, performing. We can see many others are very well performing, guys. So this was the, this is the first half of this webinar. You've just seen the features from the pro plan of Zeek Analytics. And now I have special announcement for you before we move into the next part of the webinar. So let's go into it right now. Let's go back here to the presentation and announce this amazing announcement I have for you. I would like to announce, I'm proud and excited to announce the Black Friday deals, guys. We have right now up to 50% off throughout the whole month, still Black Friday on all the yearly plans. And we added the new plan. This is for anyone who is ready to commit and want to save money on the long term. We have limited time offer of lifetime access. The pro plan, which will have all the features you just seen on the, on the presentation right now. The product research, competitor research, category research, title builder, item finder, the folders, all the training that, that you need, the webinars, everything included in this plan, okay? Which this plan is ideal for beginners or people who stick to manual research, can get it 30% off on the yearly plan, for the pro plan and 50% off on the lifetime offer of lifetime access. You will pay one time 997 and you will have Zeek forever. You don't need to pay again anymore, okay? If you go for the yearly, you will pay 209 instead of 300, which you almost saving here 90, I would say you're saving you $90. And you can also go and try it with a monthly plan, uh, get a seven day trial for $1. And if you are skipping your trial, you can even save 50% of the cost. If you skip trial, you will save $15. By the way, here, if you skip trial, you will get another $25 discount on top of it. So guys, these are the Black Friday deals for the pro plan. Everything you've just seen, uh, we are just in the middle of the webinars. So I'm gonna move on now to the next part of the webinar. We're gonna discuss how to create an eBay seller account for drop shipping. Okay, I'm going to walk you through my strategy to warm up accounts and make sure they're not getting suspended. And then we're going to move on to the more advanced part, which is scale from zero to hero. And I'm going to show you how you can find hundreds of products with just few clicks. So let's go over the, the, this part, which is how to create an eBay seller account for dropshipping. I break it down to days because this is my strategy. On day one, you will register an account on eBay. If you're new to eBay, amazing, you register from your computer. If you already have an eBay account, you don't need to register. If you want to run multiple eBay accounts, then you need to register your second account. 
from a different machine, different laptop or different uh, uh, IP, okay? There are techniques to doing it. We share these uh, uh, guides with inside the Zeek Analytics VIP members group. Uh, so if you want to check it out later, you can go to the VIP members group after you join Zeek and see. Then number two, interact with eBay search and purchase cheap items. eBay don't like to see that people create an account and go and becoming a seller on the first day. So register the account, let the account rest. Come the second day, log in, play with the eBay search engine, search some products, and then search for some cheap auctions. You can find products for five cents, two cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 40 cents. If you search for auctions of jewelry. So this is my recommendation for you. Earrings, rings, and stuff like this. After you find some cheap auction, purchase one, two, three items. Make this action, build, build trust with the eBay cookie, okay? And then leave the account and come in number in, in day number three, connect your bank account. If you are local, if you're from the United States or the UK, you just connect your account. Or Germany, you just connect your account. If you're an international seller and you're in different country, you need to use different services such as Pioneer or Revolut. Pioneer have integration with eBay. After you create account with Pioneer, you can connect it. Revolut will give you either UK or US bank account to connect. Now, day number four, List your first product from home. Don't start dropshipping directly. You can list any product, empty perfume, an old book, an old t-shirt. Just list it for $5, $10, it doesn't matter. If you want to take it another steps forward and actually generate a sale with the first product you list from home, you can take any, any secondhand product and list it for $1 auction. You're probably going to sell it. You will need to send to, to ship it as well, so it will add cost for your operation. Not a big cost, but it can help you build even more trust if you uh, provide tracking number after you ship this product. Day five, contact eBay to increase selling limits. You start with 10 limits, you wanna have 100 at least before you start listing dropshipping products. So call eBay, tell them you're ready. And this is very important that you are upfront as much as possible. You try to address any question that can come up with your first call. So you call them and you're doing something like this. Hello, my name is Nahar Geva. And I'm calling to increase selling limits to my account. They will probably send you to the right department. And then uh, you will speak to the right person and you will tell them, hi, I would like to increase selling limits to my account. I'm uh, selling on different platforms online. This is uh, my first uh, seller account, my first time on eBay. I have a lot of items to list. I want to list more. Now is the holidays time. Always find good excuses. This is a family business and I would like you to help me and increase the limits. Hopefully they will increase your limits on the first day. If not, okay, if not, what you're going to do is you're going to hang off and you're going to call again, and you're going to hang off, and you're going to come again, even if it's going to take you five times. Eventually, they will increase your limits. So hopefully, you manage to increase your limits on day five, and now come day number six, where you list your first dropshipping products, exactly based on the method I just showed you. So you can go to the replay of this webinar, go back to the part where I show how to find products, you register to Zeek Analytics, seven days trials for $1, you only risk $1, you only do it when you're ready to list your first drop shipping products. You go, you do the research, you find products, you list to your store, okay? Everything very simple, everything is here. You just need to follow step by step. So this is how you do it, guys, um, as simple as that, and you are good to go. And then you can do it again and again and again with more and more accounts. Let's move to the next part, guys, which is scale from zero to hero, a complete strategy, okay? And here I'm going to give you the listing target. It's very simple. There, it's not a rocket science. You know how to find products. Now you just need to walk. You just need to list products. So within your first months, you want to list 10 items per day, which will probably be approximately 250 to 200 items by the end of the month, not in, in, include product that you will remove, okay? So let's say you finish the first one with 200, 250 items, amazing result. You probably generate few sales, maybe revenue of $1,000. Very well done, okay? Now, once you did it, you move to, to the second month. The target on the second month is to list 20 items per day. You're ready to grow. Now, why you don't start with 20 items per day on the first month? Two reasons. One, selling limits. Two, you don't want to grow too fast. If you grow too fast, eBay can suspend you. You want to stay be, below the, in the eBay radar, okay? So second month, you list 20 items. And the third month, you list 40 items per day. You're supposed to be after three months with approximately 1,500 items to 2,000 items. 
okay? If you already gonna have 2,000, 1,500 to 2,000 items, good product research items, you're going to probably already generate the profit of $1,000 to $1,500 profit. And yes, it's doable, but you need to stick to the plan. Don't tell me, hey, Nahar, it's the third month and I only have 200 items and I don't make $2,000 per month, you know what I mean? You have to stick to the plan. Now, you're probably asking yourself how to find 20 to 40 items per day. With the manual research I just showed you, it can take longer, right? It can be time consuming. Maybe you only have two hours after work. Maybe you work when it's late. Maybe I don't know what. Everyone have different story. Everyone have different situation. Not everyone can put all the hours he can into the product research, right? So I'm going to show you now how to use the Zig Pro features to find between 20 to 40 items, or even more, you can use it to find 100 items and 1,000 items, actually, in just a few clicks. And how you can also utilize it to find holiday items. So if you're ready, guys, please, if you're ready, smash the, the chat with messages. I see people asking a lot of questions. I'm going to get back to those questions by the end of the webinar, OK? So I see people say, Ready, 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 ready. Let's go. Perfect, 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 perfect. We have a lot of people here. I'm, I'm uh, very impressed to see so many people. Thank you so much for coming, guys. People are putting, wow, ready, let's go. Amazing. Let's go, guys. So we are inside Zeek Analytics again. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Zeek Pro features. I'm going to demonstrate you on the autopilot and the turbo scanner. These features can find thousands of items with just a few clicks. You have a lot of filters, a lot of criteria. It's very powerful features. Now, we're going to stick to the same winning product criteria, and we're going to add another layer on top of it of profit as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, let me just clean all the surges I just did here, okay, to make it easy for you and clean all those surges here to make it nice for you, perfect. So we're gonna start with the autopilot and I'm gonna show you how I use the autopilot to find 40 items, okay? 40 items per day. I click on the new scan. I switch to my favorite supplier, the autopilot support in AliExpress, Walmart and Amazon. We're gonna start with Amazon, okay? And then I'm going to choose the categories. I'm going to go for all categories, okay? And I'm going to exclude here Amazon devices and Apple products, okay? Now, what categories filter good for? If you want to look for specific products, let's say you want to list toys because it's Christmas. So you can just come here, checkbox everything, go and search only from the toy category, okay? This is helping you be more specific. I exclude Apple products and Amazon devices because this is product we can't sell. Okay, next things I will go for only prime. I want only prime products. I want at least 100 reviews. I want at least four uh, stars rating. You can also go for three, okay? Uh, the more strict your criteria will be here, the less products you will get. So you have to remember it, play with it, okay? I leave it on three here. And then I will go here for four sales in 14 days, right? I will say no more than 15 competitors based on our criteria. I, I just wanted to say that once you're in the third month and you're ready to list 40 items per day, you can be more flexible on it. You can go for 25 competitors, okay? Uh, I want product that's selling not less than $10, okay? Some would even focus on $20, depends on your pricing strategy. It really depends. You can make money in different ways, but because I want to get faster sales, I want to boost my store, okay? I would say 10 and I will go for return on investment of 0.10, which is 10% from the product purchase price on Amazon, okay? And I will go here for 40 products. Now, let's say there are some very items, products you're not allowed to sell, so I will put here 50 products, okay? And I will hit the start your scan button. Before, you need to give it a, a name of, to the scan, of course, so I will call it webinar one, and I'll hit the search button. Now, you saw how simple it was. Now, it looks funny when you look back to the manual research, how we, we went through different competitors and products and stuff. And now we are uh, just looking here and on just picking few filters, clicking a button, and within a few minutes, we're going to get 100 listings, right? Or 50 listings, depends on how many we choose. So I'm going to let you see live how fast it can be, okay? Live how fast it can be. Maybe meanwhile, I will even run another scan. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just going to wait for you. Yeah, here it is, guys. 
didn't even took two minutes and we have 50 items. Now there is this exclamation mark signs here just to tell you is that to make your life easy when you need to list 50 products per day and we don't want you to list the same products every day. What we're going to do that as long as you keep these scans here, the next scan that you will run, even if it will be with exact same filters, okay, let's call it webinar two, will not have the same filter, will not have the same products. So it's gonna give you new 50 products, every day new 50 products. So I will click here on webinar one, and I will get into the result and take a look guys, we got 50 products, the images are matching completely, 99% match of the images. Look how beautiful it is. You can see the profit margin here. You can see the eBay title, Amazon title, eBay price, supplier price, sell to rate, success rate, sales, competition, everything based on your criteria. Now, all you need to do is either list them one by one if you list manually, export all item into a CSV file if you upload with export file or use our integration, which we support the, the best listers in the market and list it directly from Zik to eBay. So you be Zik with the integration become all in one stop shop solution for drop shipping. So click a button, find the products, list to your store over, okay? And you can even, let me show you something. If I export all items, I can even exclude Vero brands and restricted keywords. So this way I don't list risky items to my store, okay? Very simple. So this is how simple it is with the autopilot. Now I wanted to show you here, let's go back to the autopilot. I wanted to show you here the second and to show you how it's completely different items. How Z gives you completely different items. So here we have completely different items as you can see, right? And here we have completely different items. So you can come here and list 50 items every day. Let's move and uh, see now an uh, example on AliExpress. AliExpress is a little bit different. You click here AliExpress. There is, there is a, I gave it a name, webinar Ali1. You can give it a name as you want, you know, based on different services you do. AliExpress have less filters because we don't have the supplier prices exactly. It's going to be semi-automated process. I can say again, I want $10, 14 days, for sales and 50 products. And I click the start uh, scan button. Again, it's gonna take probably two minutes, not more. We're gonna let it load. And then you're gonna get the AliExpress products and you will use the item finder to complete the process. Let me show you how it looks. Let, let's give it some moment to search. And here it is, 50 products from AliExpress. Let's open it up. 50 products from AliExpress, super simple, super easy to find. Take a look guys, based on our criteria, everything is here. And then all you need to do is to complete the process with the item finder. This is the product I want to my store. Click here. Let Zik use the search by image technology from AliExpress, bring the product here, decide if you find the right product and that's it, you are good to go. Here are the products, $7 profit, $8 profit. Of course in AliExpress you need to double check because there's shipping prices sometimes. You like it, you save it, that's it. So in order to find competitors, go through each competitor, find his best selling items, you put this and you just go one by one on all of them. And you keep all these items, you check, you just double check, make sure it's the right product saving the right AliExpress product, and that's it, you are good to go. This is how it works for AliExpress. And then it works exactly the same uh, like Amazon, also for Walmart. For Walmart, I suggest to turn off rating, okay? Uh, and reviews, you don't need it because Walmart items have not much. You can go here for all categories, same criteria. I will not even change it, uh, 0 0.10, um, ROI, 14 day sales, four sales, $10 selling price. Here, the difference with Walmart is you want $35 selling price because you want free shipping on Walmart, right? And then I will just give it a day. Click start your scan and the same process again, save time. You go for Walmart, you get 50 items every day ready to be listed. Super, super easy guys. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to move now to the Turbo Scanner, show you what's the difference between the Turbo Scanner, but what the power of the Turbo Scanner. Turbo Scanner can be used in different way for different method, and it's very, very powerful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so good question. Uh, Ugis asks, what is ROI? ROI is return on investment, okay? Okay, return on investment. And, and this is basically a, a percentage. It's like profit calculated, 
from the selling, comparing to the selling price, okay? So if the profit is $1, sorry, comparing to the buying price. So if the price on Amazon is $10 and your profit is $1, it's 0.1, it's 10%, okay? This was clear, perfect. And now here we, actually I think I put some extra filters here I shouldn't put, but here you get Walmart products, very simple, very easy as well. Now let's go back and move to the Turbo Scanner. Turbo scanner works differently, okay? Turbo scanner works differently. Turbo scanner will not bring you the eBay item. Autopilot compare eBay item and supplier item. You can compare the titles, you can do many things. Here, what we have is uh, only the supplier side. What the turbo scanner does is collect all the dropshipper in our database based on their supplier, and we just bring you the supplier's product directly, the Amazon products, the Walmart product, et cetera. Turbo scanner support only Walmart and Amazon.com and Amazon UK. So Amazon.com, Amazon UK and Walmart, not AliExpress. And it's, it's very powerful because it's helped filter by keywords, okay? So let's say I wanna find now Christmas products from Amazon. I will choose Amazon. I will say I want three star ratings or two star, three star ratings, or maybe I will turn it off because Christmas product may be new and they don't have enough ratings, right? So I turn it off. I put prime only. I want product with two sales or five sales or eight sales in the last 30 days. So if we stick to our criteria, 14 sales in 30 days, in, in 14 days, it will be eight sales in 30 days. I want 50 product and I want them to be Christmas products. So I will put here the keyword Christmas and I'll hit the scan button. Now, we're gonna have a, a surge here, also pretty quick, we're gonna get result. Let's just filter it, 50 products, not just 50 products, 50 products with eight sales, at least in the last 30 days, all of them Christmas products. Now look how simple it was. I just put Christmas. I run the search, bam, I get the result. I, I checkbox the item, upload them to my store with the integration, upload them with the expert CSV, upload them one by one, that's it, guys. Here are the product, $23 selling price, 42 sales last 30 days, rating on Amazon 4.7, BSR, 200, uh, Amazon BSR reviews, et cetera. Now you have more filters here that you can use, of course, but I use the basic filters. I suggest you to use them as well. Now let's run a normal search without Christmas. Let's say I want product now from Walmart. I want from to be sold by Walmart. I want eight sales in the last 30 days and I want minimum selling price of $35, right? Click the scan button, let it scan a few seconds, refresh again, get the result, 50 Walmart products, bam, good to go, all the products are ready here, checkbox them, list them to my store, that's it, good to go. This is how quick it is. It's sometimes a little bit ridiculous how quick, how you can come and spend 10 minutes listing 50 products, even less, five minutes listing 50 products, and that's it. Of course, you want to add on top of this, maybe title optimization and stuff like this, but if you are already scaling your store, you will list large products of products. And this is how it works. And you can do the same things from Amazon. I did you one example on, on Christmas products from Amazon, but you can search any products from Amazon, okay? You have the category uh, uh, filter, you can filter by categories. You can get any type of product from here. I see people say I'm moving a little bit too fast, guys. Sorry about it. What you can do, you can watch the replay, okay? You can watch the replay. Uh, you can uh, uh, slow it down. Uh, if someone has a, sp a specific uh, comment, please let me know and I will move a bit slower. Where can we find the reply? The replay is going to be launched on YouTube and shared with all of you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, and then on YouTube, you can control the speed. You can watch it a bit slower, guys. So this is how the Turbo Scanner work. Again, you choose your supplier. To go, I choose amazon.com. I'll put prime only. I can put eight sales in 30 days. I want selling price, let's say minimum $10. I want 50 products. This time I will not use filters. I will go for categories and I will go for all categories without Apple products and Amazon devices. I will decide to turn on rating and I say, I want product with at least four ratings on Amazon. And I'll click the scan seller button. And here it's coming again, very simple, okay? very quick, ready to be listed. Click here on the button and here are all the items, ready to be listed. It's, it's insane how fast it is, okay? It's insane how fast it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's go and move on back to the presentation and discuss the last part of this uh, webinar and is how to demonstrate, uh, so is how to 
increase and boost your sales after Q4 is over in the beginning of the year, beginning of 2023. So I'll go back here to the presentation. Before we move in with the webinar, again, I want to uh, introduce you to the special Black Friday deals we have. These Black Friday deals cover also the enterprise plan. All the features you've just seen, the turbo scanner and the autopilot, part of the enterprise plan. The enterprise plan ideal for advanced sellers who need to list a lot of products or beginners with a time crunch that don't have enough, don't have more than two hours per day, cannot do the manual research, okay? So you can see here that this one is $89.99 per month. If you skip trial, you save $45 and then you have 50% on the yearly plan instead of $900, eight. 99, you get it for 449. And you can even get the enterprise plan with a limited time offer of a lifetime access. You pay once, 2997, and that's it. That's it. You don't need to pay anymore. You have Zeek forever. So let's get back and move to the last part of this webinar, which is how to boost your sales after Christmas. So I break it down to two steps. Step number one, know the upcoming trends and list them early enough, okay? And I made you hear the list of trends. First of all, we are in December, or we are sorry, in November. We still have enough time till February to enjoy uh, the winter season, sell winter products, okay? Second thing is the Valentine days on the 14th of February. You need to prepare to the Valentine days by the beginning of February, by the beginning of January. So you list Valentine days, in the beginning of January, you will enjoy sales throughout all the way to February. Summer products, people get in advance, like tents and travel products and stuff like this, and evergreen products, okay? Now, by the way, Walmart is very good for evergreen products because they have a lot of cleaning materials and all these kind of things. I'm gonna share my screen again, and I'm gonna show you how I use Zeek Analytics and Google Trends to find products here. And this is very very valuable part, guys. So stay tuned. Write into the chat if you're ready. Okay, write into the chat if you're ready. And I'm going to show you now how to find these products. Okay, so Harun is ready. Zulif Car is ready. People are ready here. People on fire. We still have a lot of people with us. 122 people watching, which is a lot of people on this live event today. And I'm going to show you now how to find winter season products, Valentine's Day products, summer products, evergreen products, all these products that you can prepare. And by the, by the middle of December, already list these products to your store, okay? So let's go back to Zeek Analytics. I close here everything that can distract me. We have Google Trends, we have Zeek Analytics. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I find trending winter products, ideas, how I find uh, other product ideas, okay? so. Let me just go back here and prepare everything for you. So there are a few ways to do it. I'm gonna show you first how I use the 500 best-selling eBay items to get product ideas of trending winter products. The 500 best-selling best eBay items are the, the top, the most trending products right now. Because we are in the middle of the beginning of the winter, I, I assume that many of them will be winter products. So I come here and then by location, you can see what are the trending products. This is ceramic electric mini fan heater. So you see, it's a mini fan heater for, sold on the UK 100 times in the last 48 hours. So I will copy this keyword, okay? Ceramic electric fan heater or heater, okay? And I will try to look for more examples. What else I can find here? We have long pants here, we have jackets here. So this is uh, uh, sweatshirts. We have, um, I'm looking for pattern of winter products, right? Starting with winter products and, and all these kind of things. After I got the first product, which is ceramic heater, I will go to the product research. I'll open the product research and I'll go here. And I wanna check, I wanna validate. So I'll put here ceramic electric heater. I will go for general search, okay? Electric heater. So I'll hit the search button. And I look on five years and look what I see here. I see that the trend is pretty much close to peak, but don't just look on the peak here, okay? Okay, the peak, let's find it, is on the beginning of January. But even in end of January, the demand is very high. Even here on 29th of January, the demand is very high. So having winter products, ceramic electric heater throughout January in your store, you will make good sales. This is how you compensate 
uh, on the Christmas um, decrease, right? So I'll take this keyword, I'll go to the product research, and I'll do the same thing. I'll search for it. I want to see the demand on eBay, and I also want to see what models are selling best, right? So we have it here, $57,000 in sales, volume is going up, right? 74% success rate, $37 average selling price. And here we can see what are the top trending products. And then you can go, you can even come here and filter by drop shippers and just use the same spying on your competitors method to bring winter products. But you should be focused. You should make sure you list this product now because they will continue selling in January. So you should list them throughout December as well, okay? This is very, very important. So this is how I found very strong niche. I, I use the 500 best-selling eBay items to identify trends. Right, I found this one here. I searched this one on Google Trends to see what is the, the, the five years trend. And then I validated the demand on Zeek. And I saw here, what are the models? And this way, I find a lot of products. So this is how you find one example for winter products. Another thing is to go to the category search. You, again, you want to start broad, right in the category research, winter, literally winter and see what are the trending products that have winter in the title, and then do the same searches again, the same process again. Validate with Google Trends, validate with product research, you find drop shippers, undercutter products, or bring similar products to the market. So you come here, you see, wow, this product is selling a lot. This is Knit Hat, right? We have another one here like this. There's another one here like this. So I will copy this title, right? I will go back to the product research. I will just clean it from all the unnecessary things. So I put hat, probably solid, neat is the name of it. I will not even write winter in the search. I'll copy this keyword. I'll, hit, I'll run a search on the product research again. Again on the product research. And I'll go back to the ceramic, to the Google Trends and I'll do the same thing. And guys, exactly it's five years of trend. Last year, last year, right now we are in the end of, we are in November, right? So from November, if you list it, you have peak interest go up till the big middle of December, but it stay high till the beginning of February. So sales are good till the beginning of February. And if you look at here on eBay, $45,000 in sales, neat hat. Here are all the models, filter by drop shippers and you're good to go. You are good to go. You can even find the exact same product here on Amazon. Boom, exact same product on Amazon. You go, you list it. You want from AliExpress, you change your settings to AliExpress, you start, you, you, you run a search on AliExpress. So this is how beautiful it is to find products, uh, product ideas for seasons with the category research, with the 500 best eBay selling items. Just to mention, category research is available in the pro plan, in the first plan and the 500 best eBay selling items are available on the Pro Plus, the middle plan. On, only also on them, we have 50, uh, 40% off. The, end, the Pro Plus have 40% off discount, okay? So, so um, this is how it works. Now, let's find products. We had, what we had first? First, we had winter. Let's, let's find Valentine products. Okay, if you want me to show you how to find Valentine products, write into the chat. Yes, we are ready. Ugis want to find Valentine products. Absolutely, yes. Mark is ready. Boom. Okay, let's make an example. Now, for Valentine products, I suggest you to start from the end of December already. Middle end of December, you have all January that you will, you will be making sales. While people are crying in January, you will be selling winter products. You will be selling uh, Valentine products. You will be ready for Q1 of 2023. So, Valentine products, here we go. I'll do the same things. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use um, um, uh, the category research tool for this, okay? And I'm going to use the product research tools for this. So here we are more specific. Winter is very general. Here we are very much more specific. So opening the category research, okay? I will I write Valentine's Day gift. I can try different searches. I'll open the product research, I'll do the same thing. Hit the search button and open the product research. I'll do the same thing. Okay. And now I want to again validate the Zeek, the eBay data with Google Trends. And here I can see different one. I love you necklace. Okay. Sold 3,000 times lifetime. This one here, it's a kitchen. What is this? It's a Valentine's Day gift 
funny girlfriend gift. It's just this even. It's, this is even a drop shipping product, guys. Oh no, this is not. Was sure it's the same product. So here, there is, where is this gold plated rosé flower 24 card? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this gold plated rosé flower, right? For instance, one good product that's sold. We'll go to the Google trend. I will hit the search and I will see the trend. Now here, trend is not so cool, so clear. I'll try to go worldwide. It's just because this is this is uh, things, but we can still see what is this month here. So we see that it's speaking, interest speaking. Let's take a look. Interest speaking here on, yeah, interest speaking on January 22. So starting listing it now, even, let's see. Yeah, beginning of January is the perfect time to list it. Perfect time to list it. And if you go here and you open the product research and you search for this keyword, gold plated rose flower, okay? You will see if there is actually existing of this product on eBay or demand or all these kind of things. And then you can, you can prepare to the Valentine days. So yeah, you see, you're already generating sales. People are still selling it. And there is actually already sales, okay? So there is demand. And in the last 30 days, there is Google Trends here. There is lifetime sales of 600 and, and 12. This is product with demand. And you do the same things. You try to look, what is this? This is, this is a, a language, I love you pendant. I love you pendant, okay? Or hard pendant. Let's, let's try to do something like see what is here. Oh, okay. So here I run on the product research, Valentine's Day's gift. I scroll down and what I have here, I have here a heart keychain, and I have here I love you pendant, and here I have some heart with light. So I will go again here and I will try heart keychain searches on Google, and what we see. Let's take a look. On 2020, the peak was February 9 to February 15, exactly on Valentine's Day. 2020, the peak, January 30, February 5, exactly on Valentine's Day. We found a trend, we go like this, we run the search on the product research. Now we know we have a good product, right? We run the search on the product research. So we click product research. We run Herd Kitchen on product research. We come here and we see what are the models that selling. We can try to filter by drop shippers. There are even some drop shippers selling it, not interesting products. Go to your suppliers, Walmart, AliExpress, Amazon, Home Depot, whatever it is, search for this product and list few of them, few of every type. Have 100 products for Valentine's Day is ready and you will start selling them and add to every title, Valentine's Day's gift, Valentine's Day's gift, Valentine's Day's gift. Same with Christmas part, add Christmas, Christmas, Christmas gift, Christmas to the titles, okay? Because people are searching for it on Google and different places. So this is how it was to find Valentine's Day's product. And if you want me, we can find right now summer products people get in advance. I have one idea in mind to give you, okay? But we're gonna start from, from uh, Google Trends. And you should start from Google Trends if you just have an idea and you're not sure about the trend. So I can put here, um, like things I think people buy in the end of the winter are tents or traveling products, okay? So I'll put you tent, I'll run a search button, okay? And I will look on the, on the, on the five years trend and I see, okay, it's peaking, peaking in May, from May, to July is the peak. But if I enter end of February, I catch the whole trend. So entering the middle of February, it's already good time. So you can start list this product by the end of January, making sure your sales through uh, February, March are good, through the summer are good. And this is how you match yourself to the trends as a dropshipper because you're so flexible. So you should think yourself, what are products that people buy for the summers? What people do in the summers? They travel, right? What else people do when they travel? What other things? Survival kits. Let's check survival kits. Survival kits. When was the last peak? Survival kits, last peak, February 27. Okay? This is good. The peak before here was, this was probably in the COVID. There was a huge peak, okay, in the COVID. Take a look, March 15, 28. This is, this is COVID peak. But here, take a look at what, what um, uh, thing, you know? So what you do, you take survival kits, 
you go, you check this niche in Zeek Analytics. You see if there are sellers selling it. You go to the product research, you put it here, you click search, and you analyze the result. And then you will get the result in it, and boom, you are good to go. Let's take a look. So here is the result, guys. Survival kit, $16,000 in sales in the last 30 days, 72%. And we can see that there are drop shippers here, guys. So we can go and we can snipe these drop shippers and prepare ourselves for February, for March, having the right products. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been one and a half hours. So many people are watching and we are getting closer to the end of the webinar. I'm going to get back to the slideshow and we're going to move to... Step number two in boost your sales after Christmas. So you've seen how, how to find uh, and how to find ideas from every niche using category research, trend, uh, Google Trends, and product research. Now we are going to discuss how to get rid of holy, uh, uh, how to get rid of holiday season items gradually, starting from the 20th of December. And this is the second way to increase your performance after Christmas. So first of all, tip number one, never delete more than you list. You want to grow your listing, not to reduce your listing. Once you start deleting holiday items, start with Halloween. Halloween was the first big holiday. Start with Halloween items, move to Christmas decoration, and remove toys last. People continue buying toys throughout January as well, because some people rebuying gifts and stuff like this. So the goal is to maintain healthy sell-through rate, uh, by getting rid of products that stop selling. If you will take these two steps, list the trending products that for the beginning of, of the year and get rid of holiday products to maintain high sell to rate, you will have very good performance by the beginning of next year. Guys, thank you so much. If you got questions, we are here to answer. Feel free to ask me these questions now. This was one and a half uh, hours of valuable content. This webinar will go live on YouTube tomorrow. You will be able to see the reply. We're gonna send you an email with the update. I wanna wish all of you guys best of luck with your business. I see a lot of questions that come in. Grant Lay loved it, thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant presentations from George Nevis. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. So I will start answer some questions. How do you sell products in different regions? For example, sell products in US from the UK. You, you need to, so if, you're, if your account is in the UK, you need to log in to ebay.com and list products there. You can also list internationally, uh, but I suggest log in to ebay.com and then you list it directly there. You cannot have store subscriptions on both countries, okay? You need to have, you have one only on one. And there is advantage for UK sellers because if they have store subscription, they can list up to 1,000 items for free in other marketplaces, UK, in USA, Germany, etc. Another question is how do you handle massive orders? Automation, 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 or just yourself check it three times per day, four times per day. This is how you do it. If you uh, want to keep doing it manually, hire a virtual assistant can process orders for you. But automation is uh, auto ordering is important, very important. So I would have a few questions, please ask. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. Alex want to see product research for Home Depot. I guarantee you, I promise you, we're going to release a product research video on it in the next weeks. And uh, this is becoming too long right now, so I cannot go and do it now. I apologize. Katz guy, thanks a lot. Rizwad Karim, thank you so much. How about working teams? It is okay to walk alone. Ugis, absolutely. Hiring virtual assistant, it's necessary to grow your business. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Hetal. I don't know this supplier, Zendrop. I'm sorry. Harun, how to deal with Vero brands? If you use the, the Zik features, you have you get notified for all the Vero brands. If you do it manually, you see the brand sign on Zik. And if you use the, the turbo scanner, the autopilot, you have filters when you export or list with a monitor. How do you fulfill orders on eBay if your supply closes down for holidays? You don't, you, you, you put your store on vacation, increase handling time to 10 days, 20 days, and put your or put your store on holiday. People who work with AliExpress in February, they put the handling time for 10, 20 days. When you can get ready to have some employers, I'm green beginner only now. So um, I would say once you generate enough money to cover the cost of the employee, or if you want to see it as a business and in, in, in invest in advance, it's another story. It depends on your time, of course. 
אז אז מי אז, נא, I want to know how can I use Zik for multiple computers, I have three eBay accounts. You cannot use for multiple computers, Zik limited to one user, if you want more users, you need to resubscribe. You need to open three accounts. Best tips for beginners for Uria LKM. Yes, best tips is watch this webinar three times again, follow the orders, do exactly what I showed you. That's it. And be consistent, set target, be consistent, list items all the time. Uh, Saki, when we can get the, the recording of the webinar, tomorrow we're going to send emails to everyone. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I just want to repeat. I'll go back here. We are in a Black Friday deal till the end of this month. You will find, you will get an email about it. You will find it also inside your Zeek dashboard. This is a great opportunity for you to get Zeek uh, for amazing prices. And you have seven days to try it. Guys, thank you so much. I wish you best of luck and I'll see you on the next webinar. You're amazing. Keep the hard work. Stay focused. Work hard. Your futures, it's in your hands. And if you will step up and if you will wake up every morning and you will stay motivated and work hard and learn and ask questions and have critical thinking, you will become successful in your life, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next webinar. Ciao.